If you had five minutes of face time with President Zuma, what would you say to him? I would say to him that the only thing we have, the only thing we have that binds us together is our constitution because it sets out what we must become. I didn't go into the preamble. The preamble, you see, commits us to do, amongst other things, to raise the living standards of each citizen and to free the potential of each person. That's big. You can't do that unless you are concentrated on what the needs of people are and whether you are actually discharging that obligation to raise the living standards of people. You can't free the potential if you have an education system that is actually set up to fail the children of the poor. You can't do that. Leave aside the politics of everything else. If you fail at that, you fail in our constitution because the constitution also, it's complex, but it gives us other rights as part of our national identity. One of those rights is the ability to speak freely in all 11 of our official languages. All of those things are contained, but it works because you respect it. There are rights and obligations. And, if, and, and then I would say to him, I'm happy to take you through a lengthy discourse on where we fail our constitution. And if we fail our constitution, we come back to that point that Will Hutton raised where we look at our past because that's where glory is and we are incapable of inspiring people with a hope about their future. I start there and I end with, with Cabral who talks about people not fighting for the things in anybody's heads. They fight to improve on their lives and to see opportunities for their children. It's very basic. Everybody's like that in the world. And People have spoken. I've said very publicly that the ANC has now lost the urban working class. So we can, we can, we can feel good about, in aggregate terms, we still have Kobo Kobo and Kofumbaba and parts of the Vembe district and so on. We, we can feel good about that, but actually what matters in a country that has an economy like ours is structured is what happens to the voice of the urban working class. It's old in the tradition of the ANC. Those early relations with the ICU, Clemens Kadali, I mean, it goes back to all of those times goes back to the struggles of workers. And if, if you've lost that, what do you have left? And then I will say to him, if you are incapable of understanding the import of this, step aside for others who can. Because you are then an impediment to the values articulated in our Constitution. Hopefully, uh, David Machlobo is, is listening and would take this tape and play it to the President. I'm comfortable with that. <laughs>